The Earth has been a home to many prehistoric animals that went extinct millions of years ago. Most of these animals not only looked terrifying, but they had the ability to tear through our flesh easily with their razor sharp teeth or claws. Thankfully, we'll never see them again in our lifetime. Well, hopefully, scientists don't bring them back, but then again, you never know what the future can hold. How's it going, YouTube? I'm Landon Dowdsing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Before we get started, I want to know what is the scariest animal? that you think ever existed. Let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you guys are not following me yet on Instagram, head over to Landon Productions. We are almost at 100,000 of you guys, which is insane. The only question is, can we do it? Can we actually hit over 100,000 followers on Instagram? Okay, so let's get right into this. This is the top 10 scary prehistoric sea monsters. Basilosaurus makes a splash onto this list at number 10. Originally when the Basilosaurus fossils were discovered in the 1830s, it was believed that this animal was some sort of reptilian sea monster. So that's why they were named the Basilosaurus, which literally means king of lizards. However, it was later revealed that these creatures are not reptilian animals. At all. They are actually gigantic ancient whales. But unlike the whales we have today, the Basilosaurus was sleek like an eel and they measured up to 65 feet long. Despite its long size, the Basilosaurus had very small flippers and a short head compared to the rest of its body. It is believed that they most likely ate whales and fish that are smaller, but other predators would not dare bother to compete for food against this beast. Tanyostrophius jumps into this list at number 9. The Tanyostrophius lived in shallow waters, but it was also believed to live and hunt on the land. They were not very fast swimmers, so they would often walk along the shores and use their long necks to get within range of prey without being detected. Similarly to lizards that we have alive today, the Tanyostrophius had a tail that could detach if a predator managed to latch onto it and it would be able to regenerate. Their teeth was also very unusual. The front teeth were similar to a rake and the back teeth were flattened like molars. They mainly ate fish and other small aquatic animals, but they're able to reach into bushes and trees with their extremely long necks. Let's take a look at a reconstruction of what these beasts look like if they were alive today. Great long neck, great long tail, there's hardly anybody at all. That long neck is perfect for an ambush predator. If these things still existed today, you would never find me swimming in the ocean, now that's for sure. Up next, number 8, we have another terrifying creature that goes by the name of Leoplorodon. This scary looking creature lived about 160 million years ago, and this was during the Middle Jurassic period. Just looking at some of these pictures, you were able to tell that these creatures were very ferocious reptiles. They were approximately 30 feet long and weighed in at about 2.5 five tons, but it wasn't their size that made these reptiles dangerous. They had a five foot long skull that was filled with razor sharp teeth that were designed to easily tear through flesh, muscle, and even bones. According to paleontologists, the Leoplorodon had a directional sense of smell, so they made for excellent hunters, and because of the position of their flippers, they were also very fast in the water. I'm just so glad we don't have to worry about running into these ferocious looking beasts. And now at the number 7 spot, we're talking about the Jacolopterus rene, or otherwise known as the giant sea scorpion. So if any of you are scared of creepy crawlers, you probably aren't going to like this creature. And that's because when scientists discovered its giant fossilized claw, they were able to assume that when it was alive, this giant sea scorpion would measure about two and a half meters long, which is much taller than the height of an average man. Paleontologists believe that this creature existed on Earth when oxygen levels in the atmosphere was much higher than it is today. So due to these elevated oxygen levels, scientists say that this was the reason behind their enlarged bodies and perhaps many other huge invertebrates existed during the same time, such as monster millipedes. There was also huge cockroaches and ginormous dragonflies. I would never want to live in a world where a cockroach is the size of my foot. I don't think I'd be able to go about my day knowing that these creatures are there. Next up, number six, we have the whale that ate other whales. We're talking about Leviathan Melvilli. This evil looking beast was a prehistoric whale that lived approximately 13 million years ago during the Mycenaean period. Based on its fossils, scientists were able to predict that this whale was approximately 50 feet long and it weighed about 50 tons or about 100,000 pounds. Oh, 
and did I mention that this beast also had teeth that were 14 inches long? So that means that this beast weighed six times more than an elephant and its teeth were even longer than a saber toothed tiger. But what makes this animal so interesting is unlike other whales, the leviathan didn't feast on plankton, it ate meat. Actually, paleontologists believe that they ate seals, dolphins, and maybe even other whales. Is this real life right now? Not only was this whale massive, he was the whale version of Hannibal Lecter. Dacosaurus swims on to our list at number 5. Prepare yourselves for this one because the Dacosaurus isn't a pretty sight. Actually they were pretty terrifying looking creatures. Their name literally means tearing lizard and even though they were similar to a saltwater crocodile they aren't any less ferocious. Scientists believe that these creatures were approximately 15 feet long and weighed in about 2000 pounds. Not only did they look like a strange mix between a crocodile and a dinosaur, they had a powerful jaw and serrated sharp teeth that they used to tear flesh off a large marine reptile. The scientist who discovered its skull gave this creature the nickname Godzilla because of its unusual snouts which were short and deep and extremely long serrated teeth. It is believed that they had a very powerful bite force and they were likely a top predator during its time. The giant stingray makes us cringe in at number 4. This haunting creature can grow up to 17 feet across and it has a 10 foot poison spike in its tail. They're also known to pull boats up and down river and even underwater. Oh and I didn't mention that these giant prehistoric stingrays are still alive today. Yeah, that's right. If you're not thrilled about meeting one of these gigantic stingrays, then I would avoid traveling to Meganga River and Australia. Scientists estimate that these creatures can grow up to 5 meters in length and weigh 600 kilograms. And even though stingrays don't normally attack humans, they pose a real danger to those who decide to handle them. I guess we all know that's true when we think about Steve Irwin. And that's because they have a deadly barb that can easily penetrate human skin and even bone. And once you are penetrated with their poisonous barb, they will most likely inject their poison. Haunting us in at number 3, we have a prehistoric ghost shark and we call it the helicorpion. This deadly looking shark is believed to have been about 30 to 40 feet long, which makes this beast roughly double the size of the largest great white shark currently on record. The helicorpion is mostly known for being the world's only animal with a complete 360 degree spiral of teeth. Actually, the purpose and placement of their teeth have been up for debate for more than a century. And it still remains a mystery today. But one thing that is for sure, you definitely wouldn't want to see this bizarre shark swimming straight for you. But thankfully for us, they weren't meant to eat creatures with bones and they went extinct 230 million years ago. Whew. Well here's a video that shows you the sinister looking animals that they have hunted. Crunching down in this list at number 2 we have the Chronosaurus. These beastly looking creatures lived approximately 125 years ago during the early Cretaceous period. And as you can probably tell by these pictures, I wouldn't exactly call these creatures cute. Actually they look pretty terrifying. They were about 33 feet long and weighed about 10 tons. It had a short snout and tons of teeth with a powerful jaw. Their teeth aren't the sharpest when compared to other marine animals, but that didn't stop them from from brutally killing their prey. That's because they would bite onto their prey, they would shake them to death, and then crush their skull with their powerful jaws. Their fossils have only been found in Australia and Colombia, but that's because of the extreme distance between these two countries. Scientists have speculated that the Chronosaurus could have been found worldwide. And finally, chomping into our number one spot, we have the infamous old Megalodon. The Megalodon has the honor of being the largest known predator in the history of Earth. This beast can grow up to lengths of 60 to 70 feet and weigh 50 to 80 tons. To put that into perspective for you guys, the largest great white shark measured in at about 21 feet and weighed 3.5 tons, so a little guy in comparison. So if one of your biggest fears is a great white shark, I guess you're happy to know that these sinister beasts are extinct and you won't find them creeping underneath your boat anytime soon. But then again, there are skeptics out there that believe that the Megalodon shark is living at the deepest part of our ocean. And considering that our oceans are only 5% explored, maybe this theory isn't, you know, that far-fetched. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.